Good day, good morning, how are you? It's great to be here. I bought a pair of glasses at the dollar store. I can see a little bit better with these ones. So that's okay. I'm able to read a little bit better, maybe. Hmm. I'm off work for a couple of days. Isn't that nice? Enjoy with my family and my wife and son. That's what it's all about. It's not about the chaos that's out there in the world and all the mayhem when it comes to this pagan ritualistic Yule holiday. As you know, I don't celebrate it the way the world does. I do for my family and I love them and being together with them is the most important part. And I say that for all of you. Enjoy your family, enjoy your loved ones, be together with them, right? Because there's the real peace of God. Okay, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Now, I want to read this. Uh, I went over this this morning prior to coming on this show. And I think it's vitally important that we are to be standing in Christ and not to be alarmed at what's happening around us, not to be frenzied over the way the world is because ultimately we have a calling and an expectation so do not be alarmed. I'm going to title the show this. Do not be alarmed. Okay, now we are asking you, brethren, for the sake of the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling to him, that you not be quickly shaken from your mind, nor yet be alarmed, either through spirit or through word or through an epistle or through us, as the, that the day of the Lord is present. No one should be deluding you by any method, for should not the apostasy be coming first, and the man of lawlessness be unveiled, the son of destruction, who is opposing and lifting himself up over every one term to God, or an, ob or an object of veneration, so that he is seated in the temple of God, demonstrating that he himself is God. Do you not remember that still being with you, I told you these things? And now you are aware what is detaining which is the members of the body of Christ. The body of Christ is what's detaining that man of lawlessness from being unveiled. We know this. For him to be unveiled in his own era. For the secret, secret of lawlessness is already operating. Only when the present detainer, which is us, may be coming out of the midst, then will be unveiled the lawless one, whom the Lord Jesus will, be disp will dispatch with the spirit of his mouth and will discard by the advent of his pre presence whose presence is in accord with the operation of Satan, with all power and signs and false miracles, and with every seduction of injustice among those who are perishing, because they do not re receive the love of the truth for their salvation. And therefore God will be sending them an operation of deception for them to believe the falsehood, that all may be judged who do not believe the truth, but delight in injustice." Now we ought to be thanking God always concerning you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, seeing that God prefers you from the beginning for salvation and holiness of the Spirit and faith in the truth, into which he, do, he also calls us through our evangel for the procuring of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Consequently then, brethren, stand firm and hold to the traditions which you were taught by us, whether through word or our epistle. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, our Father, who loves us and is giving us an Ionian consolation and a good expectation in grace, be consoling your hearts and establish you in every good work and word. Establishing you. Making you stand in the truth that he has graced you with. I love you all. Have a wonderful holiday. Be safe and love your loved ones because they love you.